All right, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to J Sports. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And subscribe to the channel. Press both of the guys, but so you never miss another one of these Dodger videos. And uh, make sure you support us on PayPal. We could not get through any of this without you. So uh, let's go ahead and talk. The Los Angeles Dodgers will destroy Kansas City. Oh, baby, they beat them. 13 to 3. Oh, and Muncie is red hot, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. This is the only team that's possibly going to bring me a championship. And they're winning. Dodgers win 12 in a row. The most, uh, the first time they do that since 1976. If they win 13 in a row tomorrow or, you know, today, whenever you're watching this, they will catch up to their, what was it, 1924, 1925, 26 record. Uh, I don't know if, I don't remember the team, but it was basically the Brooklyn Dodgers. You know, when they, uh, when they scored and they did that. So, man, let's do this. Let's start the game up, baby, with the first inning. All of it happened in the first inning. Yeah. So, let's start it off. Mookie Betts hits a home run to deep right center field on a 2-2 pitch. Mm, Michael A. Taylor can't get it. It's his 25th home run of the year. Ouch. Mm, beautiful. And then comes Trey Turner, who went two for five with two RBIs. And a run uh, last night. He hits a 1-1 pitch in the right field for a base hit. That's his 141st hit for him this season. That was awesome. And then, of course, Keller issues back to back walks. Max Muncy hits a 1 1 pitch to the red for a base hit. Turner scores. Uh, bases are bases still loaded. It makes it 2 to 0 Dodgers. And then comes JT, Justin Turner. He's hitting as DH, designated hitter. He hits an 0 1 pitch to the left center down for a base hit. And then Freeman scores, makes it three to zero. And then comes another base hit. Uh, I don't remember who hit it into right field, makes it four to zero with Will Smith scoring it up. And then the Royals did not even have an out. This is all in the first inning, by the way. And then Muncie makes it a five to zero game, just pure awesomeness. And then of course, uh, Turner, uh, Justin Turner tried to score, but then uh, Brent Rooker, uh, he got a uh, double play to get him out. That would have been a couple more runs, baby. That would have been a couple more runs there. And then uh, that was all in the first inning, like I said. Just crazy how the Dodgers office just came out. Boom, 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 boom. Got to do this like this because filters in the way. Oh, man. They were just great. And then you get Andrew Heaney. Uh, he gets bailed at by Freeman in the sec in the first inning, and then comes. Uh, by the way, fr uh, Haney had to get out in the third inning when he took a big one on the arm, and it was just not great. But he was also giving away two, and it, uh, yeah. Uh, Betts then gets another hit. Smith hits a uh, dinger deep into the left field. It's a two-run homer for Will Schmidt, ladies and gentlemen. It's a 7-0 score at this time. 7-0 game. And then Haney gave up two with extra bases. And uh, Massey uh, dives in, or, or I'm sorry, drives in two. And he tries to go for three. He gets a uh, two-out, two-run triple. Then he makes it 5-2. to two. But then, here comes Gavin Lux. Luxy. Who has a uh, who hits a fly ball to right center field, his fifth home run, and then it's his second RBI. It's 35 on the season for him. He makes it eight to two. Why did I put eight to five? Uh uh. Then Max Muncy hits one way out into the water. It's a two run homer in, of course, into the water. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, that was a 100 mile per hour pitch, by the way. Uh, out in the zone, and it makes it 10-2. to two. Mm, Baby. Uh, then it's uh, Muncie uh, again, who gets a stand-up double base hit uh, down in right field, and Freeman scores, makes it 11-2. to two. And then comes 
Brent Rooker, he gets a base hit in the right field, makes it uh, 11 to 3. And then, of course, it's a Muncy base hit in the right field again. And then, of course, we get Gallo. Joey Gallo hits a huge one out of the stadium, obliterates that ball, makes it 12 to 3. Hanser Alberto comes in and he's like, I'm going to do this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm going to go do this right now. He's made a couple of appearances and I, I was kind of like surprised. I'm like, really? Hanser Alberto? But he comes in again. And look, that is just because, look, we don't have a lot of guys like uh, Blake Trinan and Dustin May and Bruce Dark Gratterall. We don't have a lot of those guys there, but there's going to be some updates coming, and I'm going to have to do those updates. And, uh, you know, look, um, they're doing some amazing work out there with the Dodgers. Out there with the Dodgers. Uh, so, look, uh, Hansen Alberto gets bailed out. Again, it was just a great game for the Dodgers. I was highly impressed. This is how you do it, man. This this is exactly what you got to do. And I think with the Dodgers right now, they've got a streak. And I, look, the Dodgers, they're just going to keep going. Uh, they're just going to keep going. They're not going to stop, I don't think. And even if they were to lose tomorrow, I don't really want them to, okay? I, I want no Dodger to lose. Even if they were to lose tomorrow, look, I think they're the fact that they still got to 12 in a row... The the Padres are still 12 games over 500 with uh, Tatis never coming back <laughs> into the next season. But again, I mean, I am just impressed by the Dodgers. Now, look, I do get mad when they lose. They still got a problem with uh, Phil Bickford and Craig Crumble. Uh, and so, look, um, the Dodgers are doing well. And as Duncan said in our stream, look, he's worried about Muncie. He's not sure. Give it another week. Well, it's been a week, Duncan. Almost a week. Come on, dog. Come on. Max Muncy's back. And well, by the way, uh, uh, Belly also hit one last night, too. And it, I think he hit one today, too. I don't remember. But, oh, man, it was just such a good game. Such a good game, baby. Look, uh, if the Dodgers can keep this up, if the offense can stay hot, and then if, like, let's say Trinan and Gratterall can come back, and we have what the best high leverage reliever come back and do his thing. And then we get Gradrall coming back because he was really, really struggling and not doing great at the end before he went on the IL stint. If he can do really well, then I think we're in for a great, great season. And then if Dustin May can come back, as we discussed on the stream with Duncan, then I, I don't see any way where the Dodgers are going to suffer. I think the Dodgers are going to do really great. Now, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Press the post notification so you never miss another one of these videos. At least one of my teams is winning. Oh, thank God. I feel like the Cowboys and the Golden Knights are going to kill me. But if the Dodgers can win a championship, I'll at least be held up until then. Uh, but uh, also, let me know what you think. What do you think of the Dodgers' offense? What do you think of the defense? What do you think of their playing? Look, the Dodgers are red hot right now, and I, I think they'll make the playoffs. Will they win the World Series? I still don't think so. I know I'm being a pessimist, but I don't think so. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Make sure you support the PayPal link, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.